everything just happens. You know, I'm getting deported. My son's mother is trying to commit suicide and my son is going to foster care. You know, it's like, what kind of nightmare am I into? Alex Laura came to the U.S. when he was seven. He was arrested in 2009 and sentenced to probation for drug possession. Even though he has a green card and stayed out of trouble after his arrest, immigration agents came to pick him up four years later. They put in shackles on my feet, chain around my waist, cuffs. I'm like, what's ICE? What is this? They're like, oh, you're going to get deported. He ended up spending six months in detention. You hear deportation. Did you even know that that was possible when, when they said that? No, because I never looked at him as if he was like some immigrant that could be deported. No, I never looked at him like that. Alex sued the government and won the right to a bond hearing, which led to his release. Unlike full citizens, immigrants, including those in the U.S. legally, can be detained indefinitely. ICE says the average immigrant stays in detention for about 28 days. But for people like Alex, who fight to stay in the U.S., it's closer to 400 days. And for some, it can be years. President-elect Donald Trump's proposed immigration crackdown could add even more people to the system. Uh, there's great danger with the illegals, and we're just discussing that. If that happens, immigrants could be stuck in detention even longer while they wait for their day in court. Despite Trump's plans, Alex still supports him. I wanted Donald Trump to win. I'm all for Donald Trump, you know, making America great again. You want the best for where you live. This is where I live. I, I want the best for where I live. If Donald Trump was sitting in this chair instead of me, what would you tell him about his immigration policies and his plans to deport all these people? That not just everybody is the same. I'm happy in one way that, you know, that he could set a beginning for something better. But at the same time, when he says that he wants to deport all of these people, it scares me. The Supreme Court will decide whether immigrants have the same due process rights as U.S. citizens. Alex's case is being cited as a precedent. Now that it's at the Supreme Court, it could go beyond New York to the entire country. How does that make you feel? It's something you got to feel proud of. You know, helping somebody get out, you know, going back, going back home to your mother, your parents, your kids, your wife, your loved ones, you know. It's not easy being locked up, being in four walls, you know. It, it drives you crazy. I'm glad that, that my case is going to help a lot of people to go home to their loved ones.